Hello everyone, Nerdlin here, and welcome back to the Dine mod, where we're continuing on our return back to the 1v1 maps. Today we're starting in the Arnor category, four maps of Arnor. I plan to play as Arnor in two of them, and fight against Arnor in the other two. So starting off with playing as Gondor against a random AI, let's see who we're up against, as we are in the bottom left corner of Arnor Forashell. Which, even though it's one of the smallest maps, I do like it a lot. Mainly because even though it's all cold and frosty looking, there's no large amounts of snow constantly falling from the sky, blurring the textures of everything, making the quality of the game look even worse. Uh, need a barracks and... I think I'm going to go blacksmiths. And farms on the outside. Because you do start with an outpost right next to your base. With nothing protecting it, so that'll be good to go for. Hopefully the AI doesn't take this settlement from me before I can take it. This one is finished. We've completed this good. one. Friend. This Although there are gobos, men. Against Rohan, oh dear. This is gonna be an interesting fight. Okay, wow, one of our units deals with the peasants, another unit can deal with the goblins. Once it reaches the building, destroy the building, block formation. Get another blacksmith. And then we'll get a marketplace and a well to start with. Because, well, we need healing. We're also going to get the architects of Arnor to rebuild this farm when it gets close to being destroyed by the goblins. Once the peasants are dead, we can handle that. So we currently have six resource buildings, which means our buildings are making less. Oh, damn, that's deafening. When you go over there, when you go into there. And... Now. Probably didn't need to do that, but I did it anyway. You're not going to stop me. Uh, get a marketplace. We could think about building statues in the front if we think that would be better against Rohan, since we don't really want to be wasting those towers just shooting constantly at baby peasants. So, definitely want the world to start with, because that extra healing can make a major difference when defending. So, I'm actually going to build a statue and then a tower. There they are. There they aren't even greater numbers. Still only infantry, so I'm going to draw them straight towards the base. Oh no, there are some archers. Okay, even more reason to go to the base. Have one unit go the other way. These two in block. That one over there. God, I love being good at this game. So now we're getting damage and armor in the vicinity of the building. Also in block formation, our units are not going to die. Meanwhile, those peasants are definitely good doing something that we can uh, define as dying. Get another tower to defend our uh, backwards blacksmith. This unit got level 3 off killing a few archers. That's, that is impressive. Get to healing our troops. Get these two off block formation so they can go back in more into the fray. Make sure those pikemen are going. Oh, yep, yeah, that's what I need to be worrying about. Have one unit move around and attack those fools. Have one of them attack there. And focus fire on those pitch throwers. Their damage may not look like much, but they destroy things so quickly. And their fire bombs are a lot more devastating than the fire bombs of old. Okay, this is a good start. Let's uh, get the lone tower. Pop it right in the center. There's the cavalry I was not expecting. But I wish I was, because I would have built pipe in ages ago. We kind of surrounded him. 
get these guys out of here. Can't shoot those cavalry, sadly, so we're gonna have to tank it. Oh, that was loud, so loud, stop being so loud. Let's get our first hero, Arif Oh, he's even more expensive than I remember. We guard the White Tower. Make haste. Will this evil Keep going. Get over there. Leave that farm as it is for now. We might need to rebuild this one. Take our most wounded unit and take it back to the base to heal. Take, having too much in one place is not going to be the job. Uh, what destroyed that? Ah, siege, of course. Steal yourselves. Keep ranks. One unit go back. I will represent the men of Arnor. They're attacking the farm. Watch for the enemy. Ready yourselves. Keep those shields up. Oh, thank you. Ready your weapons. Well done, my man. That is siege. Uh, this is why I don't like fighting Rohan. They'll always just throw siege at you no matter what you do, no matter where you are. No matter what you like, they're going to bring siege against you. Oh good, they just charged into the, the factor unit I wanted them to charge into. Foolish. I stand as your king. Come with me. Get those forged tools built up. They're running away because cavalry are coming up. Yeah, let's get Carpian and more soldiers. Hello, Rohirrim. Goodbye, Rohirrim. Oh, that's Feo Dread. He should be feared a bit. And more cab. Yep. I'm not spamming up. That's Hal of Halbarad. No, that is uh, Gamling. Once those pit throws are gone, move back to the base. Forward. They've got siege. Let's rebuild that, hold that back for as long as possible while we're dealing with their hero spam. The spam sandwich. Throw down a tower over there. Protect against further chaos. They've not used their siege against me. Because they're attacking my spearmen over here. If that's the case, then have them drag it all the way towards my base. And all the rubber troops while I'm at, while they're at it. Kill them heroes, please. Okay, heroes dead. Just keep looping them around until you get back in. Next here, I think, is an order. Malbeth the Seer. Palmer is all the way over there. He's not going to die to that tower. He is the ultimate trump card against my towers. But he will not die. No, not that one. That one. Okay, we need more spearmen. I stand as your king. Watch for the enemy. You're not making your way through here. Oh, new quotes, nice. Honor must stand. I'm not afraid of a few paltry peasants. Ready yourselves. Drop formation, soldiers. I'll show you how little scared I am. Get from the shadows. Trust my counsel. The enemy is here. Okay, this building's a bit damaged. Let's uh, 
tags it really badly for that cruel season we're waiting for. They're trying to kill uh, our king. Not king, but you know. Be careful. There are the king. The, the king. Yeah, and I, I know what I'm going to kill it. Thankfully, it's killing him over in one shot, so we can soon just run away. My last of those are dead. We fall back. We fall back in full. Palmer is chasing us. That's even better. Oh, 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 look at how many units we have that so few entities left. Oh. I'm getting Settlers Tools. We definitely still need that well until we get the uh, Bloodline of Numenor. Then we can give up on the well. One benefit that Arnor has against uh, Gondor is that they have a power fully dedicated to just keeping your units alive without uh, needing a building for it. That is not good. That is bad. That is very, very bad. Give my units a buff. That should make them stronger. Should be in the opportune word that I don't know if it does. I haven't read it in a while. Why are my four helping is still not going out? It needs to go out. Arvidui, I want you next. You're our Boromir. But somehow in ways better and somehow in ways worse. So just being equally good. Or equally bad. That's another battering ram. Give me more troops. Uh, units are getting a little winded from the uh, constant fighting. One power point away. Let's throw a tower down for some vision. Trust my counsel. I've not actually seen the new Malbec model yet, I don't think. I might, but I just don't remember it. Oh, I harm us to the live. I don't like that. I do like the model, though. That is very clean. Very crisp. Trust my counsel. We must Oh no, we're not getting Gollum. We're not doing that again. I might, but not yet. Because we don't have uh, our king. Let's get him now. That's one more hero down. That battering ram is going somewhere, along with that Onager to kill a troll, I think. I think that's a troll there. Yeah, no, we, we are we are pulling back. We are going to heal. I don't care if we lose a building or two. We need to heal. We are a little too wounded to be. Um... You also have no pike, I don't think. No, we are all uh, swordsmen. And yeah, they're they're still bringing out cavalry, so we should. Uh... Oh, and they've got their upgrades to their. Horses, so now when they're level two, they're just well, 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 but Ch give it a chance. Of Rohirrim, that's scary. Okay, this well can go once this healing aura is spent. Let's give our fans some extra XP gain. His model looks clean as well. A nice uh, look. Look at him in there. That is so much nicer than it used to be. Kind of has like a, fe a uh, old Faden coat, which I respect a lot. Very good look. Yeah, this world's got to go. We need uh, some stuff of our own. Main infantry line fullback, block formation. How many is going to get forward weight and heavy armor from this? We shall see. That was a lot. 
That was a lot of troops that just got forged by heavy armor for free. I think. If that's what it still does. Yeah, heavy armor and forged blades. Or maybe it was just the one. That one actually said it's been purchased. Just that, it's just the glow was affecting several troops. What building do we need? I... I'm going to say archery range. Could do some uh, rangers right now. Doing many other things. We're losing settlements. We're losing money. At the same time we're gaining money because now we're down to five resource buildings. Uh, we could definitely do with iron ore. And we've got armored weight. I did not notice that. I'm just going to snap. Yeah, we need more troops. Try and focus more on pikemen now since they are seeming seem to be making more cavalry. Says I see more of them just coming from the side. Possibly from an outpost. But I would not have been able to hold if I tried to take it myself. Okay, now they're just trampling into Pikeman. Yes, silly goose. What are you doing that for? That eager to meet your makers. Okay, one here is getting a little too low. Arafan, pull back. Coffee, and you do a quick run over to there. Get me that uh, settlement. Trust my counsel. We must take the fight to them. The kingdom of Put on a tower, see if that distracts the battering ram a little bit. It did not. I'm getting the Linden Watch Tower. Let's get our uh, allies, the Linden Elves. Arafant's healed enough. We need everyone in the front, on the front lines. Throw down another tent. Use Bulwark. Run into things, knock them down. That's how it works, right? Oh, we just contemporarily knock back enemies. And it's tougher. It's even tougher cooking to crack. Five power points again. Uh, let's let's actually get formations of Arnor. Let's actually use this power since we are using our formations a lot for our. Base troops. More damage, more armor for just for free. Really good. The London Watchtower let that tear down, who is super cheap thanks to Arbidui's level 5 ability, diplomatic relations. Units and heroes of the elves are 30% cheaper. I said settlement buildings, so Kurdan, Gardens of Linden. Uh, Dunedain from the tents. We really just need a break, don't we, from all this trouble this AI, AI has caused. Whoever that ram was charging towards, it did not do a good job of getting rid of it, because I still see everything on the map. Oh, well, I'll take it. As well as moving everyone close together, see how many units I can uh, get with Forge Blades and Heavy Armor this time with Arapan. See if it's still only one unit. Oh, that. Crap. Not a fan of that. Not a fan of that uh, thing. This vast world is full of wonders. Wings of darkness oh, they destroyed that. Okay. 
That's the bashing around coming towards my linen tower I just built. Well, I can't stop that. Dealing with one problem before trying to deal with another. Keep up the attack. I stand as your okay, rebuilding farm. They're just spamming siege. This is so rude. Uh, saying all leaders in the map will be deactivated. Since we're the only ones with leaderships, let's not do that. That only works if the AI uses their abilities, and they're clearly not. By abilities, I also mean just the heroes. Please stop it. Ugh. Well, that's five hundred more resources I have to drain. We build that tower. Target this stand as your king. Nothing that like, enters the base will leave without my consent, and those guys do not have my consent. Arguably oh, taking a lot of damage, but don't worry, when Arguably oh, takes damage, he just gains more armor and damage, and he reduces his damage. Also, nearby units are just very inspired while he's at full health. Okay, building down. Let's get my best boy my into his armor. Good old Aranarth. He'll keep my heroes alive. I need to take that, that outpost. I might even build the um, Rivendell outpost, not because of Glorfindel, but for the Glorfindel Windriders. Just to help clear out this, these pests, these Rohirrim. The peasants, even. The pests that are called peasants. Will you heal my troops? Yes, please. Oh, I was not going to full heal anymore. Shame. Shame, I say. Shame. Uh, Lone Tower, put it right in front of where I'm going to put this outpost. So it's safer. 1500! That's a rip off. I'm not even able to afford it. We've been just constantly fighting, so this power has had no use so far. I just need time. Time to counter this evil that marshals before us. Get more pikemen, since that is again seems to be what we've been losing the most of. Or not, actually. Get fit to split again. Okay, the towers of Linden are getting slightly taller and more in impressive. At level 10, uh, Arafans, let's... What does it do again? There's a pair of Palantir guards to guard a selected structure. This has to be in close range. Oh, there we go. That'll do. Okay, yeah, no, we're running. I, oh, no, that, I don't think that was a, a shot from an Onager. I think that was just a Pavarin falling. No, that wasn't Onager's shot. That's, that's, that's what we're falling back for. By the way, that's had a pair of Palantir Guards. That is a full unit of Palantir Guards protecting our building. I love it. Uh, we need to build this outpost. It also had, I think, a healing fountain, the enlarges fortress, so that's what we're going to get. Malveth held them back. And now he summoned even more friends. And we can see Gollum again, wherever he is. And a farm. Oh yeah, the enlarges outpost had an update that I showed once and was like, eh, I still wouldn't really get it. Keep upgrading our troops one by one. Prepare for battle. Gollum is walking through our base. It is a bad idea to get Gollum right now. Want to know why? Because he, because Arvidui would nerf our entire faction. All of our units would be very heavily nerfed. But our heroes would be severely buffed. Let's find out if the, the buff to heroes is enough to outweigh the nerf 
two units. If we had Gandalf, that would definitely be a uh, a significant buff. Yeah, let's start getting archers as well. So, if we anyone who has never seen this version of Arvidry before with the ring, nearby heroes receive double armor and damage while normal troops lose armor and damage. That can be um, uh, mitigated by the formations of Arnor. If you wanted to. But yeah, double armor and damage for all our heroes. Among many other nice little boons we get from Arvidry. He made everyone fall down on his on their knees. He has been gain twice his experience are permanently healed. Now the target farm which no longer will produce resources. Yeah, those peasants are going nowhere. Don't know, even know what they're going for, but they're not going anywhere anytime soon. I stand as your king. Give our units as many boons as possible to keep them alive. Time would spoil your heroes or troops with the integration. All heads on the map receive armor, damage, movement, speed, experience, gaining, cooldown rate, but all troops lose 25% of all attributes as well. So I would support your heroes or your troops. Well, I think my troops are already a bit weak. These are dangerous. I'm just gonna leave my heroes to do all the work. My army does not no longer exist. Our heroes can handle everything now. I see clearly now. Once they're fully healed, I'll bring them back in with Kurdan. I will rid them from these lands. I do not like the Onagers still just shooting at me. Malva, please stop them. The sorting out has begun. Look, oh, did not realise uh, some music will come with that. That's probably the uh, I can't think what the ability is. Okay, Onager down. I stand as your king. Army, stay back. I've got iron ore. Let's start getting our upgrades so we can properly upgrade our troops. I think Parthian in melee would be better than what he is right now. Let's get fire, uh, fire arrows. Let's get arrow volley. Let's deal with this riffraff. And then fall back. Because we are getting a little bit obliterated right now. We need Gandalf and Glorfindel. They're our two best heroes. Not just because of the two most expensive heroes. How much is Glorfindel? 2,800. Yeah, he doesn't get a debuff. A reduced cost from Arvidwee's old ability either. It's only settlements that get the thing. I don't know what to do. Use Inviable. Let's keep knocking down all the enemies. You shall not pass. That's right. I told you what you're not going to do. Stay down. Power before the true king of Arnor. And know your place. Put a tower over. I guess over here. Now is our time. Arnor must stand. Ready your weapons. Make ready. Red all our troops. And now charge in. My skill will be seen by all. In Arthedain. Damn, now that's gonna be so depressing. <laughs> Uh, let's upgrade this building, I guess. So I guess some better troops might help. You know, just maybe. Just maybe a little bit. Aronoff's level 10 is... Uh, I like his heroes 
I like heroes in the vicinity for temporary gain armor and damage and have the ability to recharge. Ah, oh, I thought I was healing as well as uh, Arbitrary's old ability to heal. Ah, oh, heroes in time area becoming vulnerable to person any ability used during this time to recharge twice as fast. After 30 seconds, all ally on or palace guards caught in the rage will die to protect the, the Elendil. Oh, okay, so use it on a palace guard. That's why it wasn't worth it. That's why I can't use it right now. Okay, Karkin is not meant for the melee. He is meant for the ranged life. Thought that this tools might help a bit. Find your courage. We should never have come here. Do not fear them. Okay, we're pushing in. We're doing damage. Because of how small this map is, the AI has just been constantly. Oh look, they actually rebuilt a hero. There you go. It can still happen. I see a great many things. And it's just peasants being spot. They have six recruitment buildings in their base. That's why Rohan is so overpowered, by the way. That's why Rohan can just constantly be throwing out troops constantly. Because some of their resource buildings are also used. They have buildings that can spawn units. Okay, Kurdan's going to get out and he's going to teleport my entire army out with him. I must be vigilant. Take some of my units back with him. Keep, just keep some things in front. Block formation, so they're tanky. We must not waver. And also all clumped up. Since we don't have any AoE damage, it doesn't make sense to uh, stay here, hoping to win. Are these three heroes out there? We should never have come here. sting of my arrows. Definitely get my heroes out now. Everyone out? Everyone safe? Good. Kurdan, get the army out. Kurdan uses displacement jutsu. Goodbye. You've been bamboozled. And now I can heal for a second. Can we get healing fountains here? Crystal Mervs, Mystic Fountains, yes. Provides healing for troops nearby. Good. I need it. I need it desperately. Now, please. That's right. Walk into the best troops of Arnor. I'll keep them alive for a long time. Oh, they're not going to. Calm down. Especially if you get to Rivendell. I'm also going to get the Enchanted Anvil for decreased cost in upgrades. They're attacking the farms. Do we have other upgrades? No, let's get other upgrades. That was a spear being thrown, or was that just a fountain being produced? We must take the fight to Either way, nothing bad's happening, so I don't mind. Yeah, those palace guardians are going to protect that building to the last. Stand as your king. Nothing's getting through that. Siege would, but units, no. I don't. I don't count siege as units. They're an unholy abomination, spawns of Satan. The enchanted anvil has been built. You can see it right there, next to the mystic fountain. I will rid them from these lands. The building damaged? No. Good. Those palace guards wreck. Oh, one of them died. That's not good. And they're constantly stuck in... Oh, that's because they died to that charge. Really? Ain't no way you died to a charge from a tier 1 cavalry unit. Ain't no way. Arafan, can you rebuild the uh, palace guard defenders on there, please? Move Soldiers at the ready. These soldiers are going to get upgrades for free. They deserve it. I'm going to get some more. And I'm going to defend this building because I forgot about that. Use the free upgrade I get from my hero. And look at powers. I'm going to want Army of Gondor. Downfall of Andor is good, but we need to spend another six if we want that. And I don't want to do that. I just want a... Oh! Elves. 
Don't need that entire army to deal with that. I stand as your king. My arrows will fly true. Yes. Steady. Mm, no, we're nowhere near the resources for Glockendal right now. Keep spending my resources on other things. And they are necessary things. Could disable the farm just to make my heroes stronger, but that's only for experience. And all my heroes are already level 10. Except for Carthian, but you know, that's Carthian. Oh, those pitch throwers do obscene damage to buildings for a 300 unit resource unit. Make melee vulnerability more, less of an issue. And we're going to spawn the army of Gondor. Right next to their outpost. I didn't even notice they had that outpost a minute ago. Yeah, they're going to spawn right from there. It's going to be majestic. And that's the peasants dealt with. Our troops need upgrades. We've got to do with more of them. So, you know what? I'm going to take some settlements. We need money. Oh, I will, will say that. Those farms look majestic. Such a simple design, and yet it just looks perfect. Army, move over there, please. Can't really tell if the uh, the negatives of getting the ring are really showing. But our economy is not doing very good. So I would definitely like to get more of that. Could be because of this giant tower we have instead of another resource building. <laughs> Who could know? They're not making as much siege as they were before, which is good. They've slowed down considerably. What normally happens to Rohan at this point in a game? They do really well in the early game. They can push out really far, but at some point, they just stop doing anything of any significant value. There's Palmer again, the uh, building buster. That's my, that's my new name for the building buster. Oh, I'm terrible. But almost there. More cavalry, just more horse archers, okay. Gonna watch that unit get shot down. What's the thing about getting Dunedain, but then I was think then I also forced myself. Wait. They have cavalry. Yes, I've got some archers alive. But do I really want to risk having to deal with cavalry and expensive archers? And I decided no I don't, so I decided to not get that thing. Decided no to the uh the good archers. We don't need them. Archers! We've got archers good enough as it is. Let them fly! Hit the enemy. And yeah, we need to stop this peasant production. It's getting out. Of Press any single unit and see what it does. Harmon knocking back our elite troops. It's no match for Carthian and the... Uh, Elite, I'm about to say Elite Orakai, the Elite Men of Arnor, no chance. Didn't even kill one of them, I don't think. The next building to get taken down, build a farm in its place. Hey, they want to march into my base, be my guest. You're going nowhere once you get close. Oh, and that's why I didn't want to keep expensive archers in my company. Because they would just get trampled on. Come closer. I dare you. Oh, the right time is perfect. The right time is perfect. No. Not even close. Not even close to perfect. It's so, so imperfect. But we've still got two units of archers alive, so... I did good. Yeah, unfortunately, Ar Arnor does not need archers. They just need infantry. 
I think ever since Siege just got put like so much higher on the AI's um, choices of units to make. Archers have just not been as efficient. They don't do damage to building the se to siege units without fully upgraded entities like Silver and Arrow Elves. They're just better off getting infantry. They just do it all. How far till the army of Gondor spawns? Almost there, and it's going to be in full. We are going to get siege. Almost aid. All our buildings be stronger, be tougher. Including siege equipment, apparently. Those are buildings. I'm joking. I mean, of course, it'll upgrade siege equipment. That's Kurdan's thing. He's the siege buffer. Here it is. Take them down. Oh, that is disgusting. That damage is so disgusting. This is why Gon is one of the few factions that cannot upgrade their siege. The base damage is already disgusting. This is just something else entirely. Look at that. Two shots building Gon. Burn the world. Rule the ashes. I'm not worried about no damn cave troll. Have you seen what I'm doing? Then back. Then back. Okay, we're getting good money now. But we're all almost about to win, so I don't think getting another hero is going to make a difference. We just need troops now. And troops, well, we shall get in numbers. We must take the fight to them. It means that already can get upgrades that exist. That's just upgraded archers. With that siege in here, destroy that citadel. Then that'll just be an easy victory because they won't be able to rebuild anything they lose. I like how they kept the original quotes for Eleanor. Let's just do a quick TP on the uh, Siege. Doesn't work on Siege. What a shame. What I learnt today, I've never tried that before on Siege. I thought it would work. It does not work on Siege. Lesson has been learnt. Ready yourselves. Okay, let's... I'm assuming there's some heroes in here. There was. We must take the fight to them. I think the Gondor troops you can give upgrades to. I summon from here. It's just like they're not permanent uh, summons, so it's not worth doing it on them. Uh, I'm going to summon the Hobbits, because they also have Siege. Although I don't know how good the Siege is, because it's Firework uh, Rockets. Go, my Hobbits. I know you're archers, but shoot everything. Yeah, bullies. Okay, Siege of Gondor. Two shots. Tis down nearly destroyed. Firework rockets, stay back a little bit. Go on, Bandabros Took. Hit them over the head. Boost our damage even more. Boost our da protection even more. Make our heroes stronger, our units weaker, because why not make things more difficult for myself than thirty blade? Yeah, you can see their damage is nowhere near as good as the Siege of the Gondor. The Siege of Gondor are now gone, so we've got to work what we have. Break their wills. Their hearts, their minds, their bodies, their spirits, everything. Break it all. And yeah, without uh, Aronoff in his base form, we don't have the discount on the London archers. But we do get the instant recruitment of them still from Kurdan. You know, small small victories. I can't remember what the honor version of these look like. They boost nearby troops by giving attack speed to archers and armor against arrows to nearby allied infantry. 
can switch into sword mode, gaining melee defense, and then attack formation at level 5 for the attack damage and armor. You get these for free straight away, as in Lardris, when you get the military studies. For those I didn't know. Okay, the victory is ours. Let's make. Let's uh, knock things over again with Aranar. Let's get a nice view of our victory. Victory lap. Oh yeah, get get those rockets in view. Oh, the rockets just got destroyed. No, oh, I want to see more fireworks. Oh well, it is done. Let's see all leaderships on the map disabled. It does not remove negative effects. There we go. We learn negative effects of the. Um, of quote unquote leadership auras are not affected by um, by Malbeth's uh, strategic council. So I'm assuming that's the same for Freezing Rain. And Aronoff is constantly knocking down his own troops because I used him viable. That's right, I like making things difficult for myself. Haven't you noticed? If I had not taken the ring, our army would be ten would be fifteen percent stronger. Oh no, you're not coming back. If I plant a tower on your gravestone. Our victory! Brutal has been defeated and Malbeth is still talking. Why are you making that sound? Hope remains. Stop <laughs> making the sound. Victory, a little slower than usual, but victory nonetheless. That was very fun. Longer than usual, but that's because Rohan loves to just spam that siege. And all the other units. I hope you've all enjoyed. And I'll see you all in the next one, playing against Arnor. Farewell.